Howdy y'all, I'm Round the Wheel, and I've been waiting for this game to come out for four years, so I hope it's a good one, though by all accounts it does seem to be. Uh, I pledged to this game's Kickstarter way back in June of 2020, back when this game was still called Akura. Uh, it seems to be a combination of like a Link's Awakening aesthetic combined with like a lot of block pushing, maybe Zelda type puzzles, but I also got kind of a Sokoban type chips challenge vibe off it. And a Link's Awakening style block pushing game seemed a lot more novel then than it does now, but I think a lot of care has been put into this game. Uh, it's been in development for a long time. I didn't play any demos as they came out, any tests, because I wanted to be I wanted it to make its first impression on me uh, in the final product. So we're going to go ahead and get it started here. We're going to see what this Isles of Sea and Sky game is all about. As I said, it used to be called Akura in development, but I think at some point, if I remember reading correctly, the, the creator said something about he realized that that was culturally appropriative somehow, calling it that, and so he, and so he changed it to... Uh, to Isles of Sea and Sky, fairly late in development, and you know that's that's a that's a nice sign. That's a good sign to me. Uh, it's kind of a you know when you know better, you do better kind of thing, and that's the kind of behavior we want to reward here at Round the Wheel Industries LLC. It took me back to the title screen after not doing anything here, so I guess we better get started. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and. We'll go ahead and stick this in here. I don't know if it calls you by the name you put in or not. If it does, then I'm going to regret not calling myself dude, but here we go. All right. So we wash up on shore of this nicely appointed little island. Okay. We wake up. And what is... Okay. We have pretty good movement here. Any... Oh, hey. Oh, this, I found the reset button. It seems to be my R button. Okay, all right, so let's see. Let's go ahead and push this up onto, can we push that up onto there? L, so R resets, L, L does something. I don't know what yet though, so. So I can't push anything anywhere else for the time being. So, all right. Oh, I just have to get the thing. Okay. I Wow, I'm already off to a great start. Okay. I thought I had to push a block onto it. So I ring the bell. I ding the bell, and it lets me have the key. I grab the key. It unlocks this. Okay, and we have blocks that push. You push on it, and it destroys everything in a line. So this is... All right, what are we going to be exploring here? Okay, so we have a big door. A big door with four things in it, which says means nothing to me at the moment. I'm getting the I'm getting the buzz buzz. So we obviously want to push a block into here. Make some ground. Alright, and we can go this way. Gotta find a key to go the other way. Okay, so it's gonna things are going to open up to us gradually, I see. Alright, okay. Patches of grass that we can't Okay, I messed that up already. Okay, so I fall in the hole. Bad things happen. So I got to reset the screen. Got it. So, okay, temporary grass. Do that. There we go. All right, now, what is this? Oh, that's a spike trap. Okay, got it. Got it, got it. Got to try everything out. It doesn't seem like I'm penalized for trying things out, which is really nice. Okay, tall grass. Is, is tall grass bad in any way? Am I going to encounter a wild Pokemon? No, no such. Okay. Uh, now, if I push this, I will not move. That is correct? Correct. Okay, so I can go around and take care of it as needed. Now, can I do anything with this rock in particular? Nope, rocks are too difficult to push. So it seems like each screen has a puzzle that requires solving. And I can take these keys. Okay, I've got one key right now. I can go in any number of directions also. So, how do I how do I get you out of the way? I guess we'll figure that out. I guess we'll just go around and kind of do things as we're able and then just kind of find a good stopping point. Seems to be how this is going to go. Okay. So 
Okay, how do we want to do this? I think this might be a puzzle we're able to handle right now. I'm going to try it. Okay, so this is still... Yeah, this is still fine. Nothing wrong with this right now. Uh, you can still push blocks through tall grass. Okay, I do have to be kind of quick draw McGraw here, however. Okay. Doink that. And then I can push that up into here. Simple. Alright, another key. But what happens if I push this over this way? There's nothing to... Do I just end up blocking up the... I think I just end up blocking up the stairs if I do that. I don't know that I want to do... Unless I have to push it all the way around somehow. It looks like I can go around and just... You know what? Let's... Well, let's push this... Okay, it does nothing. Alright, got it. Does nothing unless there's a block next to it. So, alright. Pop into the here. What have we got? We gotta find three different ways to push that in to get the key. Okay, so if I push this here, touching this, nothing. Uh, can I bring blocks from other screens? That is probably worth investigating. Uh, can I push, I cannot push a rock into a hole and I cannot by any appearances move this. So this, okay, does this reset the whole screen? That it does, but I still have my key or yeah, I still unlocked whatever this is. So this puzzle is solved, essentially, for all intents and purposes. Uh, now, can I? Uh, no, I don't think I... Well, I can stand on that, so maybe I am able to push it down here. I am! Okay. All right. I like that. I like that the game is rewarding trying things out. So let's go ahead and... Yeah, we can... Well, no. Well, we can reach at least one of these. So let's try it. Maybe I don't need three blocks for this. Maybe I could just... Okay, we got that. And then touch those. Those go away. All right. So yeah, that means we can... Yeah, that means we can fit both of those in there. And get another key. Two more keys, as a matter of fact. Um, although... Well, I can do this one way. So I retain my key by doing this. But then if I reset the screen... I still have, oh, I can, so I can reset the screen and do the puzzle multiple times in different ways. Okay, yeah, same deal, same deal. So, yeah, I want to push it down again. I don't think I need, no, I shouldn't need a second or a third block for that, I mean. I should just be able to go boppy boopy over here and then, oh, hey. And then, bingo, bango. Here we go. And now I have three keys. Okay, so I can reset the screen as many times as I need to to get what I want out of a screen. That is very interesting. Okay, so we're moving around. We're seeing what the island has to offer. Oh, oops, I walked into the spike trap. My bad. Uh, now this, 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 this. I'm going to try... You can't push it upstairs. So there's going to be some way to pull blocks eventually. I can't seem to grip the block in any way. Okay, it looks like pretty simple navigation. Just pushing. Maybe some item usage at this point. But so far, all of my face buttons are totally useless. We've already gone down here. Let's go up here. What is this? Oh, hey, free key. All right. Uh, cannot push against this side of the block. But there's a, there's a, there's a sleepy lad over there. I have three, well, I have three keys at least, so I could get in there, but that looks like we're going to be going around the island somehow. So we are just washed up. It's a complete mystery what's going on here for the time being. Uh, let's go ahead and now we've, I think we've done everything we can do on the other side for now, so let's go over here. Uh, okay, we have this. What happens if I stand here? Nothing. It's just, okay. Okay. Okay, I, oh, it's a flippy thing, got it. Okay, so, but it, pretty standard, deactivates when you're not on it, so here we go. Got it, got it, got it. Let's catch a bubble, friends, there we go. Okay, and that did a thing, which means we can now go over here and ring the gong, bang a gong, get it on. And so now, okay, that should... 
Okay. Now if I go here though, I'm kind of stuck. Although not really, no. I don't need to go over here again. Uh, there we go. And then just do this here. What I need to do, and voila, et voila. So now I have any number of ways I can get out. Excellent, okay. I have four keys, I need at least three to go through here, but let's see, let's maximize our potential. Let's maximize our potential key earnings here. What have we got? Okay, we've got a portal. The portal takes us here. Is it reusable? It is not. So I'm guessing perhaps I can push blocks through the portal. And I'm thinking I might need to do that. That may be necessary. Let's just do this for now. And then I can drop back. Bring the... Okay. Two blocks. So to be able to push this over here and use it, I need to be able to put two blocks here. Can I move the tree stump? I cannot move the tree stump. Okay, yeah. Obvious what that does. But I only have one block right now. And if I put this... Hmm. There's no way I can push this over here and stand on... Th I, I want to see if I can... Probably, I'm going to guess things go exit the portal the way they come in. Okay. Which is... Interesting. Okay, all right, all right. I'm seeing the need. Okay, I think I see the need for eliminating the... Yes, okay. Okay, I see why you need to get rid of this thing now. The, the left-facing arrow block. You push it so that... I'm going to assume this works on Chip's challenge rules, where things exit in the direction they are pushed into the teleporter. Ha ha ha! So they are magnificent. And we know that we can push blocks here. Okay, I'm already having a great time. I'm going to tell you right now, this is fabulous. I'm having... This is already tickling a lot of my pleasure centers in my brain. I'm having a great time now. Okay. So... I don't know. There's something satisfying about ringing gongs. Banging gongs, getting it on. Ringing these bells to make things happen. Uh, so yeah, let's... Let's make big, big key happen. Here we go. Okay, so now, okay, you need at least one star to go to Cool Cool Mountain. Got it. So we're going to move around then. Ah, I think I know where, oh, you're just sitting right there, are you? Very nice. Well, that's going to probably tell us what is up with you. All right. Now we have access to temporary invincibility at any one point, which means we can go down here now. We have access to Babon Battlefield. Go in there, and there is just a key sitting out on the lily pad. Oh, hey, hi, how you doing? Aha, very nice. And that takes us elsewhere. Okay. So now, now I feel like, okay, the map. Okay, we will we'll ride the turtle. Now we can go, okay, a little bit of a sailing aspect. 15 stars needed to go to, uh... Satan's anus, probably, is where we're headed. Three over here. Okay, got it. Got it. So we have a few possibilities. We are not... Okay, there's one island we're able to access now. Possibly two. There's a very small spot right here. Um, I don't know. I feel like I should go to the tiny place first. But that feels like it might lead to other places. But you know what? Here we are. We have gone to another island. Okay, if I want to go somewhere else, I know where my turtle Uber is parked. So I think that's good. We grab a key. We have four. That's a good stopping point right there. Okay, we've got the trick of the game right now. We're washed up on Toronto shores. And okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, yes. I can tell this is going to be a fun one. This is going to be cute. This is, And it feels very like low key like there's not many ways you can there's no way to like lock yourself into an unwinnable situation or screw things up irreversibly uh it's very easy to see what things do in real time okay i'm loving i'm loving the design i'm loving 
practically everything about this. So, there it is. I will see you guys next time. As we go stepping on the beach. Stepping on the beach. Stepping on the beach.